good morning student today i purnima is going to uh, revise the poem no men are foreign it is written by james kirk so children and before that i welcome you all to my class of english so first of all i would be like to i would like to tell you about the writer about the poet and then i will be telling you the main points of the poem and then of course the centrality of the poem so no men are foreign it is written written by the poet james kirkup james flaconna kirkup okay his full name in name is james flaconna kirkup okay kirkup and he was born on 23 Three April nineteen hundred and eighteen. He was born on twenty three April nineteen hundred and thirteen. Two nineteen hundred eighteen. Two tenth May. Tenth May two thousand nine. Two thousand nine. James Flaconner Kirk, twenty three April nineteen hundred and eighteen, tenth May two thousand nine, was a prolific. He was a English prolific English poet, and not only a poet, he was a translator also, and he used to write many stories also sometimes. He wrote more than thirty books in his life, including autobiography, novels, and plays. So, children, he was not only a this poet. he wrote a autobiography he wrote a play he wrote many novels and total 30 books he had written karkap was born and brought up in south shields he educated he was educated at south shield secondary school so children his uh, schooling was done in south uh, shield secondary school and durham university he wrote his first book of poetry so there he wrote his first book of poetry the downed the drowned sailor at the downs which was published in 1947 so first book of his poetry was written in 1947 he was the first resident university poet in the united kingdom well so now children i am going to tell you about the uh, main points of the poem and then of course we will discuss the central idea and the theme of the poem so the poet james kirkus tells us that no men are strange and no countries are foreign so he according to james kirkus he tells that no men are strange and no countries are foreign here all people wear clothes on the same kind of body so he is telling he puts clothes and we are having the same body structure and we all human being put clothes all of us walk on the same land and after death we all will be buried in it and not only that children he is telling that we all human will when we all will die we will buried to the same land buried or burned to the ashes on the same land okay and that land we all human being are using and then all human being they need sunshine air water food and shelter that is all the basic needs which mother this which nature is providing to us then we all have same type of body parts we all have hearts we all have brain we all have two hands two legs the same body structure we all sleep and we all wake up we all sleep at night and we all of we all wake up it is we who hate blame and hurt other not children he is telling that not only that it is we who children uh, have this feeling of hatred we love each other we hate each other and of course we blame each other okay um this is the reason that we made this beautiful earth a hell the earth was very is very, was very beautiful but now due to all this uh, jealousy hatred blaming hurting each other we made this planet not very beautiful uh, 
so uh, children this is uh, this is the idea of the poet james karkap okay now what he is telling he is telling in the poem no man a foreign the poet tell us not to distinguish people on the basis of their appearance now children it is a poet view that he is telling we should not distinguish people on the basis of their appearance religion region people of the whole world are brothers all people are born wear clothes eat food and at last die and buried in the same earth all of us have same kinds of body parts but it is we who defile the earth by hating and fighting with each other now the he is telling about the theme of the poet poem so the theme of the poem is the theme of the poem no man are foreign is about all the human beings he tells that are we are living on the same earth so we are like brothers and sister the poet tell us that all human being on earth are brothers and sister because we are the same he tell us that all of us need sun shine air water and clothes to cover the same kind of body all walk on the same kind of land all are fed up by the harvest and after death all are buried in the same land we do the same work all of us on earth sleep and wake up love and want to be loved it is the human being who hate others we defile the earth and we all live on by hating and fighting with one other it is we who pollute the air that we all breathe to serve our purpose and without taking into consideration is bad impact on other people so children we are responsible for everything okay it is us because we human being we have to make our earth beautiful now children i am going to explain the poem with reference to context so i am going to explain the poem first i will read the poem and then i will be explaining it right so let's read the poem remember no man are strange no country foreign beneath all uniforms a single body breathes like ours the land of our brothers walk upon is earth like this in which we all shall lie they too aware of sun and air and water okay so now children i am going to uh, uh, explain the first structure okay so here uh, the poet is telling that uh, we all remember no man are strange no country is foreign here so he is telling that uh, nobody is a stranger here and no country is foreign we should not divide the country that this is india this is usa this is china this is pakistan no country is foreign here we are living in the same land so we all the country should be considered as one country we should not have this thing in mind that he is a indian he is a pakistani and the feeling of hatred hatred should not develop with uh, within us remember no man are strange no country foreign beneath all uniform a single body breathes okay so he is telling a single type of body is there um okay that means we all human have a single body structure simple or say same body structure and we all breathe we all breathe the same air okay which is there present on the earth beneath all uniforms a single body breathes now children beneath the uniform beneath is below under under the uniform the same body is there and we breathe the same air which is there all over the world all over the earth the same air, air is there which we breathe like ours the land our brothers walk upon and he is telling like our land the other land is also the same and which in which we all humans walks that means we walks we use the same land okay it is not that 
the USA or USSR is something very different. There is land, there is water, there is air present there also. So we human beings, we walk on the same land. Is earth like this in which we all shall lie? He is telling that um, uh, that is earth like this in which we all shall lie that at, in the end all the human beings, those who are born, they will die also and they will be buried in the same earth or they will be burned to ashes in the same earth. Okay, so after cremation, our body will be there lying on the earth. Okay, it, it will be not taken to the other planet for burying or for cremating. We all will be, uh, we all will be lying in the same earth. So children, this is the uh, meaning and the explanation of the first stranger. Where well, some of the new word is there. Here strange. His strange here means unusual. Foreign means belonging to a country that is not our own. And beneath I told you it is under. Now we will read the second stranger. They too aware of sun and air and water. Are fed by peaceful harvest. By wars long winter starved. Their hands are ours and in their lines we read a labor not different from our own. So children, first I will be telling you about the new words. Fed means good, give food. So what is the meaning of fed? To feed someone. Fed means to give food. Fed means to give food. Peaceful is calm. Harvest means the act of collecting grains and food. The act of collecting food. The act of collecting food. Okay. The act of collecting food. Of course, children, food, grains, crop, whatever you can say. So, this is the meaning of harvest. Then, starve means to suffer due to lack of food. suffer due to lack of food that is the meaning of staff okay labor means to work hard so children these are the new word meaning of the second stranger which have written fed to give food harvest the act of collecting food grains or crops Starve to suffer due to lack of food. Labor is to work hard. Okay. Now, let me explain. They too aware of sun and air and water. Okay. That means, children, all the human being which is there on earth, they are using the same air. They are breathing the same air. They are drinking the same water and using the same water. And they are aware of the same sun. There is no different sun for different countries people. Are fed by peaceful harvest. And children they get food by peaceful harvest. By war long winter starved. Starved means children to suffer due to lack of food. They, they are suffer due to lack of food. Labor. Labor means to work. Okay. Labor means to work hard. Give food, peaceful, calm, harvest. Okay. So, children, he is telling 
the they hands are our and in their lines we read a label not different from our own that means children all the human being they are having the same hand and they are all working very hard these people they are all working very hard so now the third stranger remember they have eyes like ours that we or sleep and strength that can be won by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand now children before that uh, some of the things which i would like to tell you about second stranger like all the people are aware of what so here all the people are aware of sun air and water how do they get food they get food by peaceful harvest so how they get food they get food by peaceful harvest how are all people starve the long lasting wars in winter lead to their starvation the lines of how can we read in the lines of their hands the lines of their hand show their capacity of doing hard work or labor okay so this is all from the second stranger now once again i'm going to read the third stranger remember they have eyes like ours that we or sleep and strength that can be won by love in every land is common life they all can recognize and understand so first i will be writing the new words of this stranger then i will be doing the explanation remember they have eyes like ours that we wake means to arise wake means to awake to arise strength power here strength means power uh, common means usual usual here common means usual and um, recognize means no recognize and understand both have the same meaning what is the meaning of recognize and understand to know okay so remember they have eyes like ours that way and children we human beings we are having the same eyes and we are we children we wake also we rise also okay we sleep also our eyes also our eyes not uh, here i mean our means all human being eyes are closed when we sleep and children when we wake up the eyes of all the human beings are open or sleep and strength that can be won strength is power power that can be won um by love in every land is common life common is usual that all can recognize and understand recognize children that means mm, uh, we all refer to people okay we recognize that means we should not whom we discrim discriminate and strength can be won by our love so here remember they have eyes like ours that way and when all human by being they are having eyes like ours they also wake up they also our eyes are closed when we sleep and uh, strength that can be won we are having the strength we are having the power we can all won win by using that power by love in every land and children but he is rather stressing that we should win the heart of others by love in every land is common life that all can recognize and understand 
he is telling that we should uh, in all the land we are having the common life that means our strength should be due to our love and they refer to people whom we discriminate in the first children um, by in every land is is common life that means everywhere the same uh, life is can be seen we sleep all the human being they sleep they get up okay and the common life is seen everywhere what is the meaning of common life children the basic necessity is uh, fulfilled by all the human being by uh, eating sleeping uh, by waking okay so the same thing is done by every all the people in the world now stanza fourth let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is ourselves that we shall dispose betray condemn remember we who take arm against each other so children first i will write the meaning of the new words of the fourth stranger then ever is every time hate is dislike and disposes to take somebody's property land so children uh, these are the word meaning of some of the new words of um, stranger four whenever is every time hate is dislike disposes to take somebody's property or land betray to deceive condemn means to criticize now the explanation part okay let us remember whenever we are told to hate our brothers it is our self okay so children when we ever we are told to um, hate our brothers we should involve our self in bomb in war we should remember that those brother or um, human being they are also like us in others country so we should not hate we should not uh, hate our brothers or the other human being and children it is we who disposes we betray okay we criticize so what are we do we do with each other children we hurt each other we betray each other we disposes that means we uh, children snatch their properties or land by force okay we uh, betray we condemn condemn is criticize remember we who take arm against each other it is children we who fight with each other we raise our arms and ammunition against each other okay so who instigate the commerce to hate foreigners the selfish and it is the selfish people children it is not the good people it is always the selfish people they instigate the commerce to hate foreigners what are the aftermaths of hatred the aftermaths of hatred are violence communal disharmony and inhuman behavior so this is the result when we are uh, children this is the result of hatred hating our brother 
what does hating our brother means hating our brother means hating ourselves we should not hate our brothers they are also human being like us hating themselves means we are hating ourselves we are hating the whole humanity and why does the poet call all strangers and foreigners brother all of them are bound by the common bond of humanity so we are all brothers here now children we will move to stranger fifth it is a human earth that we defile our hells of fire and does outrage the innocence or air that is everywhere our own remember no man a foreigner and no country strange okay so um, till and here i am going to write the few uh, new meaning of the new words of the fifth stranger that you can note it in, in your copies or in your books so meaning of defile is spoil okay this is the meaning of defile it means spoil okay meaning of defile is spoil and what should a man remember a man should remember that no man of uh, no and then hell the place believed to be the home of devils and where bad people go after death so hell where bad people or evil people go after now outrage is great anger innocence is purity so children now let me do the explanation it is a human earth that we spoil that means children we human being we are spoiling our mother and we humiliate the mother and how we are spoiling by fighting and by killing we are shedding blood and we are spoiling our mother earth our hells of fire and dust outrage the innocent and children our hells of fire that means we hate okay we hate and we are in great dangers that we are spoiling our own innocence due to our uh, children angriness we are fighting with each other we are spoiling our mother earth and we should remember that no man are foreign and no country is strange here then of air that is everywhere our own remember no man are foreign and no country is strange so children how do we defile our earth we defile our earth by our polluted ideas and hellish deed we are polluting the earth it is due to our polluted idea and hellish deeds we outrage the innocence of air by our poisonous idea and deeds okay so in this way children we are spoiling our mother earth by our uh, we are how do we outrage the innocence of air so we outrage the innocence of air by our poisonous ideas and deeds what do you mean by deeds children all the evil deeds uh, which we human beings are doing with each other like uh, uh, spreading communism hatred war murdering um, hurting each other so these are some of the deeds which we human being are doing and we are spoiling our our mother earth so children we have completed the poem now what is the message of the poem so the message of the poem is that the poet want to say that there should be no discrimination between people 
on the basis of their appearance, religion or region. It is inhuman to uh, hate or to tease one because of one difference background or he is simply from different country. The poets want that the people should discourage this malpractice and love their fellow human being from the bottom of their heart. Okay. So, uh, this is the reason, children, uh, we should um, avoid fighting, we should love each other, we should take care of each other and we should make our Mother Earth and our human relationship beautiful. With this, I conclude my video here. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.